All right, does it look any better? I just waste two cans of brake cleaner, cleaning all the grime off here, this, some of this, that. And I was um, wondering how to unplug the injectors. And I tried squeezing them, that didn't work. Then it came up with idea, you pull this off, and now you can squeeze it and pull the injectors off. Now, why do GM, this is what I'm talking about putting locks on top of locks. Why would you put lock on that? It's just injecting, it's not coming off. But they put a lock on it. GM, good old GM. Locks on top of locks. Sorry about the noise guys, but I'm wrapped by a fan. You know, I was thinking that maybe if I had a way I could jack the air shocks up, if I could get the compressor to come on, I could jack the car up in the air. And that would take a lot of my droop out. Cause that, this car was sitting on top of them tires cause they actually bent that muffler right there. You know, then I was thinking, you know what? I'm gonna go old school. I'm gonna jack the car up. I'm gonna get a piece of wood and use the wood to hold the suspension up. And I thought it was gonna like do a lot of compression on the wood when I set it down. But the back of this car is not really that heavy. And I don't think it's gonna hurt that part right there. I don't think it will. So I mean, that's the same part that holds the spring. So I'm going to, uh, I did, I moved the, the concrete over some, but the cedar, why do I keep calling it cedar block? It's cinder block. In my old video, I kept calling it cedar block for some reason. But anyway, I skid, slid it over. The jack is not holding the car up. It's the wood right here. Now it is cutting into that wood there a little bit, but I don't think it's gonna crack it all the way. But anyway, I'm going on, well, I don't have another piece of wood right now that's 12 inches. Actually, this is 11 inches long. I'm gonna get a 12 inch, uh, two pieces of wood to work and cut them. I don't know, one of them might be 12 inches. But I'm gonna go on the other side and jack it up. And then the back of the car will be sitting a little higher. I might still put some more blocks, some more wood on it. But, um, I need the car to get up higher because I plan to go up under it. And right now it's too damn low. Also, when I decide to go up under it, I'm gonna put a jack under the front of it. I mean, I never heard of good jack stands breaking, but I still don't feel comfortable getting up under this damn car with two jack stands and some wood. Well, anyway, I'm gonna, um, oh, I forgot these are, I think these whack the brake pads on the back, I think. Yeah, I completely changed the subject then. Anywho, I'm just playing around today with the jacks and all. Trying to get the car set up higher. I can't go too much higher the hood about to hit the damn top. I found me another piece of wood and I had to add a piece to come up with 11 inches. So the other side is 11 inches. But I'm still gonna go to work and get a two by four cut to 12 inch, inches. I'm gonna get two two by fours cut to 12 inches. So um, it'll just be one piece of wood. Cause it look like it's bending, like it's getting ready to fall, but I don't think it is. It just, I guess the wood wasn't completely flat. So it's tilted out like that. I don't think it's gonna fall, but I, I'm not going up under it tonight anyway. I was just trying to make the damn car sit higher. And it does sit quite a bit higher. When you don't have the suspension drooping like that. And then I was wondering, I wonder could I send some air into that hose there? Would that go towards the shocks? But I don't know. I'm not gonna mess with it. Leave that part alone. Your air suspension works fine in this car. So I'm gonna leave it alone. But it does sit quite a bit higher when you got the rear suspension sitting up off the ground. But uh, I might be able to get up under it now. And I might go up there and see if I find my damn wrench. I dropped the, um, a quarter inch extension in the socket, I believe. 
and it didn't fall down. So I don't know where it is. I think it's between the motor and transmission. Now I feel safe going up on the car. I got a jack, two jack stands, and that part in the back is sitting on blocks. So now that's see can I fit up under the, the car. I really didn't think it was tall enough for me, but it is. It is enough room. Guys, have you ever needed a wrench that was too damn short? I mean, it was too long. You wish, like, damn, I wish I had a shorter wrench. This is a 10 millimeter wrench. The other part is right there. It's too damn long. I'm trying to get this damn bolt off of this smog pump. And I remember when I changed the spark plugs on this thing, it kicked my butt because the ratchet kept falling off. And this time the ratchet fell off and the um, the socket and the extension went, fell down there. So I think it's between the motor and transmission. But either way, I can't get the damn thing out. And I need to get this bolt off because I want to remove this AC line. And it won't come out with this damn thing sitting here. Y'all ain't gonna be able to see that, but whatever. Now watch me drop the damn socket. I mean, watch me drop the wrench. Now. I don't know, where is it now? Is it on there? Okay, I got something. Hey, it's working. I hope I ain't turning it up. I feel like I'm turning it up. Nope, I ain't turning it. Well, I thought I had it. Let's see. Okay, let's go back. Damn it, I... Oh, boy. Alright, uh, let's see. This is off. This is off, right? That's off. You turn it... You turn it over this way. And that's off. Off. It's going off. Man, why don't I think this before? And it's actually working. I'll be damned, it's working. Now watch me drop the bolt. Boy, if I had did this the first time, because I remember my car hell trying to get these damn bolts off. I should have bought my damn magnet. Oh, man, I should have bought my magnet. I should have bought my magnet. Come on, there we go. Don't drop the bolt. Don't drop the bolt. Don't drop the bolt. Whew, that was a lot quicker. That was a lot quicker. That was a lot quicker. A lot damn quicker this time than it was the first time I did this. And that thing like it's leaking. Probably because the damn gas is broke. Just need to put another gas on. And keep from losing the, the nuts. We're gonna put the nuts on here. And this should come out now. No, I really didn't have to take this off, but I did. Oh, hell no. 
Now I want it. Yeah, like I said, I really didn't have to take this off, but I did anyway. But I did take it off. Alright, so oh by the way, somebody left a comment and said that this car is never going to run again. I was like, well, I sent them a picture of my Tahoe when I took the motor out of it. And uh it ran again. So I guess this is the oxygen sensor thing my dig here. Shama. I guess that's oxygen sensor. So um what we gonna do now? Okay, this is the cooling line that came off of the reservoir. It is not attached to the motor, it goes actually it is attached to the motor. Um right here. Sorry, y'all can see that ring. Yeah, I need to, um, actually, it comes out and it goes around and it comes, the hell it come all the way around here for? Oh, it goes into the um, thermostat housing. I mean, yeah, thermostat housing. So it looks like I can take it off. Uh, let me let the video. Let me go. Hey guys, this clamp is too far down for me to hook anything onto it except for this. I bought this thing to work on my niece, Calais, I don't know what, six, seven years ago. Paid like $34 for it. And I used it on my Tower hook my F-150 also. It's designed especially for these stupid ass clips. Especially when people put them in wrong. Okay. Right. And I still can't damn grip it. Okay, I got a piece of it. And they put it, they put it in wrong. You know, you're supposed to put it where you can get to it. Alright, let's see, did it help me? Not really. Try it down here then. And then you get hooks on everything, don't it? Crazy, man. Wrong people work on cars. Oh yeah, I just take the damn thing off. Instead of trying to move it around, I just take the damn thing off. Can you see that? All right. Yeah, it's off, so I just got to get something to work the holes off. You know, a few videos ago, I was talking about special thing, um, water hose remover thing. This came with my body um, panel removers, but you put them on, can you see that? And you just work it around the holes like that. And it will usually break the holes loose enough for you to turn it. I can't get my hand on someone using Try needle nose. Might have to go to pliers. 
Let me get a screwdriver. I might be able to knock it off. was to put WD-40 on these damn hoses, they will slide on and off a lot easier. It's almost coming. Yeah, almost. Shama! Shama! Alright, we got that all. Put it back there hopefully I won't forget about it. But I got one more down at the bottom. Also, I need to go ahead and take this loose from the transmission because if I decide to pull the motor without the transmission, this pipe is bolted to the transmission. So I might want to go ahead and remove that bolt. And I'm thinking about, I'm really thinking about dropping the damn frame and drop the motor out the bottom because I want to change the transmission fluid on here. I want to change the transmission filter, not fluid. And I can't do it inside the car. But um, yeah, I guess I'm gonna go ahead and take that off now. Okay, I got the clip off of the transmission. And I just realized I can take this hose off instead of down now, I can take it off right here. But I think I might have to get my damn special tool again. I mean, something didn't work like right that time. I think I missed the bottom. And conduit is in my way. Much of it. There we go. The best thirty four dollars I spent. Best thirty four dollars I spent. All right, I'm gonna try to use this again. It'll help if you get to go in farther. Come on, come on. Screwdriver again. Ouch, mother father. Shama. Shama, you're almost there. Shama. Alright, got that off. Throw that back there. Just like unhook this right here. Hey, my little short wrench. use a damn a regular ratchet. Check.
Well guys, I thought I only had one ten, but I guess I got more than one ten, so I'm still gonna buy another one. Drop that one. And hopefully I'll find it before I need it. And I guess I'll take this clamp off. I'm gonna use this clamp this time. I don't know why that made so crazy, but it works. Yeah, this one don't need the gasket <clears throat> like the other one do. So we're gonna take this hose and Stay. I think I'm gonna call it the night. It's, it's getting too dark. You know, guys, it's been so long since I messed with these quick couplers. I forgot that you have to use the right tool. I got this from AutoZone today, and I went to pull apart and I got some more of these fittings. I'm not gonna worry about it right now, but I got some more to um, replace these. Now, this was like $11. It's two sides, a smaller side and a large side. So we're gonna put the smaller side on here. If you open it up like this, and squeeze it around, and you pull it up. It might help if you push down on this. Yeah, they still don't want to release. They still don't want to release. It's funny the one, the one that pull apart came off. He suck it here. Do not want to come off. Is that the small one? Yeah. It is the small one. But this is what I'm saying. I don't like these damn things. It's not releasing. Let's see what happens spray WD-40 on I guess it ain't the tool. The damn thing is, like I said, it's frozen. The one, the one to pull apart came off real easy. Came off real easy. Won't release. I think I got that time. No, I thought I did. Let's 
See what I'm saying? Sometimes these suckers just won't release. Oh, it'll release now. I guess they get frozen. But it'll help if you get the metal can. That plastic don't work. I'm going to remove this, this thing right here. It's making it a little difficult. But I think it's if I remove this, it, it supports this thing. Man, how, that's what I'm saying by GM. You put these long ass bolts. Do you really need a bolt that long? 15. Yeah, let's see what this will take it off. Be damn. It's a 10 millimeter bolt down. As I said before, to remove this, you gotta remove that. To remove that, you gotta remove this. And that's the reason why folks don't like messing with Calyx. to the large one. And I figured that was going to happen. Now it wants to move. Yeah. Any of you professional that some guy, he um, want to criticize me, talking about I should have been had the motor out. But again, he don't have any videos of him working on the Calyx. But he swear up and down, he's a technician that works on Calyx. Fine ass mother. I said it's so funny, people with all, got all the knowledge, don't have not one video of them working on the car. And I'm positive this is the right size because this is the large hole. See? That's where they're supposed to slide in. Better yet, check this out. That's locked in, right? This is how easy it came off the pull apart. Put it in. Look at that. That's where it's supposed to come up. Quick release. So what is it? I guess the spring inside. Alright, I finally got the damn thing to release. I wonder is it because of this part is I don't think I did that. Bent it like that, I don't think. Maybe I did, maybe I did, I don't know. But how I got it to release was I'm not putting it back on. I pushed it in as far as it would go, and I just kept spinning this right here, and then I heard a little click, and I pulled it up. So, um, let's put the new one on, I mean, let's put the, another thing, inside here, you see how all of those are bent out? That one, a couple of them was damaged or bent in or something. I don't know. But what I'm getting ready to do is I'm going to put this one on. All right, that one locked. Let's see what it unlocked. I hope I don't regret doing this. It's, it's the part right here damaged. For a second, I didn't think I was going to get the damn thing back on. Let me get it off. I'm gonna see can I bend this a little bit. All right, now that's perfectly round. But you saw how this other one was bad because this went on and came off just fine. So what my plan is 
I don't know. I'm thinking about. It's supposed to be a thing you can buy that will slide onto this like a um, sharp bite. I'm going to worry about that later on. I just wanted to get the damn things off. And I'm done for the night. So again, this is what happened. All you people who claim y'all so damn expert, I bet y'all could have done a better job, right?